Hello everyone, my name is Brittany and I'm here today to talk about my five books or series that I want to give a reread or a try again in 2018. So as mentioned in my five books that I DNF'd, I do have Triple Moon by Melissa Dela Cruz. I do want to give this another try. It's a spinoff of the Witches of East End books and I'm looking down at my notes if I'm not looking up at the camera. So about this book in case you missed that video is that twins Marty and Molly are witches that can't control their powers. Their dad sends them off to East End to live with their, their aunt which who's not really their aunt she's just a family friend but with Ingrid Bouchamp from the original series to kind of get a better control on their powers. Um, I put this down for other books that I thought were more interesting. The characters in it started out pretty bratty, so I'm hoping that there's some character development. Why I want to give this book another shot. I do think that the plotline is pretty interesting. I did find the TV show pretty interesting, so the fact that this is a young adult version of the Witches of East End series I thought would be a good kind of thing. Of course they meet some handsome boys. <laughs> Because what YA novel is not complete without handsome boys? You know, life. So it's just kind of the ending description is Marty and Molly realize they have just this summer to figure out how to grow up, how to be a family, and how to fall in love. So that kind of sparked my interest and I really, really, really want to try and give this book another shot. The next book is Megan Mead's Guide to the McAllen Boys. So this book is... If you've watched pretty much any of my videos, my favorite book of all time, I have read it multiple times and am going to give it a reread this year. Um, basically, Megan, who is an army brat to two army doctors, her parents are moving to Korea because they are going to be stationed there. And she only has a couple years left of high school before she goes on to college and doesn't want to move to Korea. She would rather stay in America. She tries to convince her parents that she can live with her friend Tracy. However, they aren't sold. They end up giving her the option to live with a family friend. But this is just a heartwarming tale that kind of has a twist ending on who she ends up with. Of course, one of the boys is the hot jock at the school and he has a girlfriend you know he's the picture perfect boy next door except he lives in the room next door not the house next door <laughs> this is going to be on my tbr or has been on my tbr for the biannual bibliothon so it probably is already read by the time you're watching this this video a series i want to continue reading this year is the of poseidon series now this is actually called, the, I think it's pronounced Sirena Legacy, but it's written by Anna Banks, and I do have all three books. The other two are back here in the background, but they're all, they are all signed because I did get the chance to meet Anna Banks, and then I bought the third one from Books of Wonder online to get it autographed. Now, this book is about a girl who is named Emma, who goes on vacation with her best friend, and something tragic happens. But before that, she meets a boy, and he has a different characteristic about him, which she has herself, which is having purple eyes. Now, in this book series, or in this um, world that Anna Banks has graciously given us, um, having purple eyes is a characteristic that's not very common. Um, I don't think it is in real life as well, but it's a trait of being a mermaid. So Emma doesn't know that she's a mermaid. Um, it gets explained how she is a mermaid at the end. And so I don't want to spoil the ending, but I religiously read these books as they came out when I was in my first couple of years of college. And so I read one and two, but when three came out, I happened to be moving and I was just not having enough time to read. So I didn't get to finish the third book. So I'm planning on reading the first two over again. Um, I won't be using my signed copies because I do have them all on e-reader as well. That's originally how I bought them. And then I bought them at the location where Anna Banks was at to get them signed. So I do have all of them in e-reader copies. So I'm gonna be reading them that way. 
The next one I don't have a physical copy of because I did buy it a while back on eReader. It's Nine Lives of Chloe King. Now I absolutely loved the TV show of this book. Chloe is basically your average teenage girl until her 16th birthday when some really kind of weird stuff starts happening to her. She suddenly has night vision, she can has super fast reflexes, and her nails kind of grow into claws. So, you know, like every 16 year old girl on their birthday, you know. So this is kind of about what goes on. Um, I'm not quite sure what the ending is because the TV show I think only ran for one season and though it kind of explained a little bit more about Chloe, it didn't go into detail about who her dad was and how she has these powers. I do think they might be genetic, but why I never finished this, I just kind of bought it and didn't really think anything of it. I read a bit of it and then I got busy. So I just want to finish this series and kind of find out what goes on because I thought it was very interesting. <laughs> the next book series I'm wanting to pick up in 2018 that I've read before is the Gallagher Academy series. Now this series I read when I was coming out of my middle school years into my high school years. I did finish I think the first two I don't think I ended up getting to the third one because it wasn't out by the time I had graduated and when I got to college I just didn't have time to read as much as I wanted to. So I did reread the first one in the middle of 2017 um, on e-reader slash I had the opportunity to buy the audiobook. This is just a physical copy of the first one which is I tell you I love you but then I'd have to kill you and it's written by Allie Carter. What this book is about is Cami Morgan is just your average teenage girl going through high school. She's a sophomore, except for the fact that she goes to an elite spy school or an elite school for very, very brilliant young women that teaches you basically how to be a spy. I don't think when you're taking covert ops or learning 14 languages that it's pretty much anything other than a spy school and neither does she. <laughs> Um, her mother is the principal and so it's kind of just her life and she meets a boy in town which they're not supposed to really interact with the boys in town so she does kind of get in some hijinks of that. It is kind of a short book, um, about 248 pages and that's including I think the excerpt for the second one. I do have the second one on my Kindle and also I have the uh, audiobook for it as well so that one is going to be on my TBR for the biannual bibliothon so hopefully this will get finished um, pretty soon um, as far as the series it is I think six books the reason I'm wanting to reread this uh, series is I did still find the first one as enjoyable I believe as I did when I was in high school and when I was first reading the series so I do find this uh, book series still pretty interesting and I definitely want to just continue the series and finish up and find out find out what happens to Cammie and her friends. So that is it for my five books that I want to reread in 2018. I hope that you guys liked this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. And if you want to stick around, definitely subscribe. Thanks. Have a great rest of your day. Bye.